Hello class 12 students. Uh, welcome to chemistry practical class and today we'll start with experiment 1. So this is experiment 1 and uh, first we'll do titration. Okay and we have redox titration in our syllabus. Redox titration means the reaction or titration involves oxidation reduction reaction. The aim of experiment 1 is titration of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution against potassium permanganate solution to determine the molarity of potassium permanganate solution, the molarity of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution, the molecular mass of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate, Number of molecules of water of crystallization in hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate crystals. The solutions taken for this experiment are aqueous solution of KMnO4 containing 1.6 gram of potassium manganate 7 or potassium permanganate. It is the same thing per liter and aqueous solution of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate containing 19.8 grams per liter. Students this is the solution of KMnO4 and KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent and it is a self indicator but you must remember that it is not our primary standard because we cannot get KMnO4 in pure form and while making the aqueous solution of KMnO4 there are some reducing substance present in distilled water which will react with KMnO4 and it produces manganese dioxide which will catalyze auto degradation of KMnO4 that is why while doing KMnO4 titrations we use dilute sulfuric acid. Students, we know that potassium permanganate titration can be done only in acidic medium but the acid used is only dilute sulfuric acid. In theory, now we will try to understand the oxidizing behavior of KMnO4 in acidic media. Now, in acidic medium, KMnO4 will give nascent oxygen and KMnO4 reacts with H2SO4 in this manner. It gives K2SO4 MnSO4 water and nascent oxygen. This nascent oxygen produced will oxidize ammonium iron 2 sulfate to give you ferric sulfate and water. Now I will multiply this whole equation with 5 in order to equalize the number of nascent oxygen and this is the overall equation for the reaction. Now if you are this is 2 KMnO4 if you are confused with this 8 H2SO4 then here there is 3 H2SO4 and here there is 5 because the whole equation is multiplied by 5. So, 
on the same side of your arrow, same species will get added. So 3 plus 5 will become 8. And this 5 nascent oxygen and this 5 nascent oxygen which are on the opposite side of the arrow will get cancelled and ultimately we get this overall equation. Now the most important part here is we can see in this balanced equation that two moles of KMnO4 will oxidize 10 moles of more salt or ammonium iron to sulfate. Now this is the procedure for the experiment. First of all what you will do is you will take a burette and fill up with the given potassium permanganate solution. After that you take a clean conical flask and 20 ml pipette and pipette out 20 ml of your hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution. After that, in that conical flask containing hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution, You'll add 20 ml of dilute sulfuric acid. Then the mixture is titrated against KMnO4 solution. You slowly transfer the solution with the help of burette into the conical flask till the last drop or the drop of KMnO4 will give a permanent light pink color to the solution in the conical flask. The appearance of permanent pink color will indicate the complete oxidation of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution by your KMN4 solution. Then whatever value you'll get in the burette, you'll note it down for further calculation. After that, you'll repeat the procedure to get the second title value. Students, now we'll start with the titration of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution, which is this one, okay, using KMnO4 solution. Now this is burette, we take this burette, okay. And transfer this KMnO4, you first see whether it is closed or not, okay. And after that you can transfer it with the help of Funnel also, I'll do it like this only. I'll transfer this particular KMnO4 solution in this particular burette. Okay, you'll put it little bit more, okay? Because you have to open it and fill the space below this particular portion of the burette. So you can just check whether the volume is up to the mark or not it is little bit more okay so i'll make i'll open this one burette and let the liquid fall kmno4 in this particular conical flask and check it again now we can see that i have filled this particular burette with kmno4 up to the mark here zero okay i'll place this burette back here and So this is the solution of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate crystals, okay, which contains 19.8 grams in 1 litre.
Now I take this conical flask, okay, which is 250 ml. The capacity of this conical flask is 250 ml. Now I take this pipette, whose capacity is 20 ml. And with the help of this pipette, I'll pipette out the hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution. Student, while pipetting out this particular solution, okay, this you you must be cautious that the liquid must not come inside the mouth. So after you pipet out, you can see the mark here. After you pipet out 20 ml of this hydrated iron 2 sulfate. Uh, hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution, you transfer it in this conical flask. Till the last liquid from the pipette falls in this conical flask. Now you put aside your pipette and your solution. Now you take dilute sulfuric acid and with the help of this measuring cylinder you will measure 20 ml of this dilute sulfuric acid. Transfer again in this conical flask where ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution is already present and swirl it once. Now after you have made this mixture you will start the titration of this particular solution with the help of k -minophore. You'll slowly let the k 4 solution fall in this conical flask till uh, the last drop of k 4 solution gives a permanent pink color to the mixture in the conical flask. The appearance of pink color of the solution will indicate complete oxidization of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution by your KMNO4 solution. So you can see that the KMNO4 solution present in this burette slowly gets transferred into the conical flask and one thing you must remember students that the conical flask solution in the conical flask you have to move continuously okay with your hand in this manner. So we can see that we are about to get our end point because of the slight color change of the mixture in the conical flask. So, now we'll stop it here for some time. Mm. Students, now you'll stop your burette. Okay? Because you can see that there is a change in color of this mixture in the conical flask. Okay, it has turned pink, okay, light pink. Now, you will just add, you slowly open this burette and just add one drop of KMNO4 solution in the mixture of the conical flask. Now, the appearance of this light pink color, permanent light 
light pink color because even if you move this particular solution you can see that it does not disappear so this appearance of light pink color of the solution indicates that uh, indicates the complete oxidation of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution by KMnO4 solution now now you have to record this reading of the burette okay which is the title value you'll remove this burette from this plan and you bring this particular burette in the eye level and you have to check the upper meniscus of this KMnO4 solution because we cannot indicate the lower meniscus for KMnO4 solution because it is a dark solution so you can see the value the value is this is 19 this is 19.5 and this is 19.8 so the tighter value for this particular experiment is 19.8 similarly you will take the second reading for the same solutions because you have you need at least two concordant readings during your examination also okay so you will again do the you will again uh, repeat the procedure and again get one more value tighter value of this KMnO4 solution for further calculations now we have already finished up with the titration and we have got our tighter value now we will make an observation table where you have to write number of observation volume of more salt solution in ml we will consider it to be V2 that is 20 ml we have taken for our experiment The volume of more salt is 20 ml for our experiment because the capacity of pipette was 20 ml. Now this is the burette reading. Initially burette reading will give 0, it is always 0. Final reading we have got for the first experiment also 19.8. And for the second time also it is 19.8. So this is the difference of the final and the initial volume which is 19.8 and this also is in ml. Now we will take the average of this 19.8 for the two observation and that is again 19.8 which is nothing but the volume of KMnO4 solution in ml or also known as tighter value and it is denoted as v1 now we will start with our calculation first of all we have to find the molarity of kmno4 solution molarity is nothing but the strength and molarity of kmno4 solution which is m1 is equals to Weight of KMnO4 in grams per liter divided by its molecular weight. And we know for our experiment we have taken 1.6 grams of KMnO4 per liter. And when we calculate the molecular weight of KMnO4, we will get 158. Because the atomic weight of potassium is 39, Mn is 55. And oxygen is 60. So ultimately, you can use calculator for this. The ultimate value we get is 0.0101 M. And students, you must remember that you have to find the value of molarity at least up to four decimal places. So here also it is I found it up to four decimal places. Now we will find molarity of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate 
solution. For this, we need to use this formula, which is m1 v1 by m2 v2 is equals to n1 by n2, where m1 is nothing but molarity of KMnO4 solution, v1 is volume of KMnO4 solution, n1 is number of moles of KMnO4 solution, whereas m2 is molarity of more salt or ammonium iron 2 sulfate solution, v2 is volume of more salt solution, n2 is number of molecules of more salt. From the first calculation, we have got the value of m1 as 0 0.0101 and the tighter value which is v1 was 19.8. m2 that is molarity of ammonium Iron 2 sulfate solution we must find and the volume of the solution that we had used was 20 m. And from the balanced equation we found out that 2 moles of potassium a KMnO4 solution, 2 moles of KMnO4 solution oxidized 10 moles of your more salt solution. Now you can use your calculator to calculate the value of M2. Ultimately we will get this value. You have to round it off up to 4 decimal places and the approx value of molarity of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate is 0.05 M. Now we will calculate molecular weight or molecular mass of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate which is equals to weight of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate in grams per liter divided by its molarity which is M2. The quantity of hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate in grams per liter for our solution was 19.8 grams per liter and M2 we got from the previous calculation that it was 0 0.5. Zero, 0.05. So the molecular weight using your calculator we can use, we can get, we get is 396. Now we'll move on to the uh, calculation of last part of the experiment. Okay. That is we need to calculate the number of molecules of water of crystallization in um, ammonium ferrous sulfate. So First, we'll write molecular weight of this particular ammonium ferrous sulfate where we don't know the water of crystallization. Where we have put the number of water of crystallization as X. Okay. And according to the experiment, according to the previous calculation, the molecular weight of ammonium iron 2 sulfate, okay, that we have got is 396. Now, when you put the atomic weight of nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur and iron in this formula, where the atomic weight of nitrogen is 14, sulfur is 32, uh, oxygen is 16 uh, and hydrogen is 1, okay, ultimately we get 284 plus 18x equals to 396. So, we'll place the like terms on the same side of equals to sign. So, ultimately we'll get 18x is equals to 112 and x is 112 by 18. So, that will come 6.2. Now, you must remember students that uh, you have to calculate the number of molecules of water of crystallization in nearest whole number. Okay, so this is 6.2 meaning, means that whenever you round it off to the nearest whole number, you just get 6. So the number of uh, molecules of water of crystallization present in hydrated ammonium iron 2 sulfate is 6. So we have come to the end of the experiment. Students, now I am going to ask two questions with regard to this experiment. First one is what is molarity? The second one is why we are not using dilute HCl or dilute HNO3 
during the titration of KMnO4 instead we prefer to use dilute H2SO4 students i hope so you understood the experiment if you have any questions regarding this experiment then you can ask me